It says Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Well, the Brazilian Senate has voted to impeach the country's democratically elected President Dilma Rousseff from office in what many are calling a coup. The vote was 61 to 20. Rousseff was denounced the decision, saying there's no constitutional justification for her impeachment. They've just overthrown the first woman elected president of Brazil, without there being any constitutional justification for this impeachment. But the coup was not just carried out against me and my party, or the allied parties who support me today. This was just the beginning. The coup is going to strike without distinction, every progressive and democratic political organization. They think they've beaten us, but they are mistaken. I know we are all going to fight. There will be, against them, the firmest, most tireless and energetic opposition that a coup government can face. I repeat, there will be, against them, the most determined opposition that a coup government can face. This is not how this story ends. I am certain that the disruption of this process by the coup d'etat is not final. We will return, just to satisfy our desires or wants. We will return. We will return to continue our journey towards a Brazil where the people are sovereign. That was ousted Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff, speaking shortly after Brazil's Senate voted to remove her from office. In an unexpected twist, the senators voted 42 to 36 to allow Rousseff to maintain her political rights, meaning she can continue to stand in elections and hold public office in the future. Irate opposition senators vowed to appeal to the Supreme Court to reverse the decision. Dilma Rousseff. 30, 13 years of rule by the Workers' Party of Brazil, and brings to power President Michel Temer for the remaining two years of her term. Temer is deeply unpopular and currently under investigation himself, accused of receiving illegal campaign contributions linked to the state oil company Petrobras. On Wednesday, Temer addressed the nation in a recorded television speech. I assume the presidency of Brazil after a democratic and transparent decision by the National Congress. The time is one of hope and of resuming confidence in Brazil. The uncertainty has come to an end. It is time to unite the country and to put national interests above the interests of specific groups. Venezuela and Ecuador denounced the removal of Dilma Rousseff and recalled their ambassadors of, to Brazil. And massive protests rocked Sao Paulo for a third day. For more, we're joined by James Green, professor of Brazilian history and culture at Brown University. He's the director of the Brown Brazil Initiative. Professor Green is author of several books, including We Cannot Remain Silent, Opposition to the Brazilian Military Dictatorship in the United States. James Green, welcome to Democracy to Now! Here. What about the significance of the ouster of the first woman president of Brazil, of Dilma Rousseff? Well, it's really part of a, a part of a five-point plan that has been articulated by sectors of the opposition, first to eliminate the president from her office, then to find a way to make uh, Lula, President Lula, ineligible for election in 2018 to the presidency, then to uh, install a neoliberal economic policy, to uh, diminish and eliminate all of the uh, social programs that have been established in the last 13 years, and finally to turn back some of the progressive social uh, measures that have been fought for by the LGBTQ community, women, the black movement in Brazil. When you say there was a plan, well, clearly, the uh, this is only made possible by the fact that the Workers' Party lost the majority in the in the legislature of uh, of, uh, of Brazil. How did that happen? How did it lose uh, control of uh, of the overall go government? So the left generally has about 35 percent of the electoral support, so it always has to build a coalition in order to govern. Uh, and when Dilma was elected this last time by about three point 
5 uh, percent margin. The opposition immediately decided to carry out the same tactic the Republicans uh, carried out when Obama was elected, basically to obstruct everything that she was doing, and at the same time mobilize in the streets against her, using uh, corruption investigation scandals as a motivation, motivating force in that regard. Um, there was then uh, a move to, uh, to remove from the, the Speaker of the House, from the, the lower house of, uh, of Congress, the Chamber of Deputies, Eduardo Cunha, from office. And when the Workers' Party refused to uh, support him and actually voted against him in the Ethics Committee, he then mobilized his forces within the coalition that had supported Lula and Dilma to reverse their position and support uh, Temer and the opposition. So there was a conjunction of both uh, traditional forces that were against the electoral outcomes of 2014, combined with those forces in Congress who were very afraid uh, that the uh, car wash investigations, as they're known in Brazil, would actually uh, end in um, jailing many of the leading politicians in the country. So they needed her out, so that didn't happen. They needed her out. And this has been documented by uh, some tapes that were uh, recorded of politicians speaking about this situation, because she actually has not been involved in any corruption. She is impeccable. She will return to a very humble two-bedroom apartment in Porto Alegre when she uh, when she uh, flies back to her, her, her hometown. And uh, she has not been uh, implicated in any of the corruption scandals. She had this powerful quote where she said, this is the second coup I have faced in my life. The first, the military coup supported by weapons of repression and torture, struck me as a young militant. She was jailed. She was tortured. Um, this one they call the second coup. Um, you write a lot about U.S.-Brazilian relationship. What was the U.S. involvement? Was there now? And right back to that first coup she talked about that led to her jailing. There's no question about U.S. involvement in supporting the coup in 1964. Starting from, in 1962, Lincoln Gordon, who was the U.S. ambassador, through the CIA funding $5 million in funds to support the gubernatorial candidates that opposed the uh, uh, president, uh, Jean Goulart. Uh, in 1963-64, the military attaché was involved in uh, building alliances with the military, the Brazilian military, and gave them the green light, saying that if they overthrow uh, the democratically elected government of uh, Jean Goulart, that they, in fact, the United States would support them. And Johnson, the, the day after the coup, uh, in, endorse the new government in power. So there's no question about that. And I don't think any historians will argue differently at this point. It's not clear exactly to what extent the United States government is involved in supporting the opposition to Dilma Rousseffi. At one point, they publicly remained neutral. They said they wouldn't allow the democratic process to, to go forward. Um, President-elect, uh, potentially President-elect uh, Clinton is very close to Fernando de Cardozo and, and um, the opposition, which is now in power. So I don't think that there will necessarily be a, an antagonism between the U.S. government What's and the government. What's her relationship with them? Uh, Bill Clinton and, and, and Hillary Clinton are good friends with Fernando de Cardozo, who was the former president. Uh, Fernando de Cardozo has spent time at the presidential library. They're, they respect each other as kind of moderate social democrats in their own context, within their own countries. Um, and I think the new government in power will encourage much more uh, foreign investment, uh, denationalization of the key industries that are state-owned at this point, including expanding the opportunities for foreign companies to get contracts for oil exploration. And, and what about what could the Workers' Party have done differently uh, over the last few years to pre prevent something like this from happening? In other words, because clearly Dilma Rousseff is not accused of any personal uh, corruption, but there have been issues of corruption within other members of the Workers' Party, uh, and also. Uh, the importance of Lula at this point, because clearly you you made the point that they they're they're fearful of Lula running again in 2018 and likely winning a re-election again, so they're looking to find ways to stop him. Right. Well, so Lula has the highest approval rate. I mean, uh, election result speculation, but also a very high un uh, disapproval rate in the country. So it's not clear that he would necessarily be elected, but he is very popular among people because of the social programs that he implemented and what he represents as a working class person being elected to the, the country's presidency. On the other hand, I think the Workers' Party made an historic compromise when it came to power, didn't have a majority in Congress. Uh, the lieutenants of Lula were involved in what we would call uh, vote buying in this country, which is basically giving stipends to members of the coalition party to vote uh, with him in power. And this was revealed, and the main people involved in that were jailed. And this tarnished Lula, but didn't destroy him. He was reelected in 2006. Uh, but basically, over time, the Workers' Party more and more became part 
of a very corrupt political system, collaborating, participating in it. And members of the Workers' Party, in fact, have been indicted, and some have been condemned for uh, dishonesty in government. Having not been able to distinguish themselves from the rest of the politicians, they lost a lot of legitimacy. And when the corruption scandals came out about the uh, basically the sacking of the Petrobras, the state oil company, this really uh, resulted in the loss of tremendous popular support for the Workers' Party. The other thing that the Workers' Party did that I think was a serious mistake was building an alliance with the evangelical Christians within the Congress. There's about 20 to 25 percent of the members of Congress who are evangelical Christians. They're the hard right. They have a very conservative social agenda. They, some of them were part of this electoral coalition, and, and in conceding to them, they really conceded to their enemies. You interviewed <clears throat> you interviewed Dilma two and a half years ago. Um, as we wrap up, can you talk about your impressions? I actually interviewed her in June for two and a half hours, ah. and uh, uh, it was really amazing because there's a very iconic picture of uh, Dilma Rousseffi when she was taken to trial in, to, in 1970, where she's standing there erect, facing her judges, and the judges are hiding their faces because they don't want to be uh, seen. She is a woman with tremendous dignity. She told me that she is not afraid of things. That might be a weakness of hers, but she's willing to confront this. And I think she left the presidential palace with dignity. She will continue, in some way, uh, be a part of the opposition to this current government and fight for social justice. She was arrested and tortured and suffered very much for fighting for the social justice of Brazil, and she will continue to do so today. Mm -hmm. And will the corruption investigations continue? This is a big question. Uh, they've opened a Pandora's box. Well, they can put the, the, the demons back into the box or not. I mean, most of the leading politicians in the current government have charges against them or are surrounded by people who do. Whether the, uh, there's a, 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 a stampening of this, uh, these investigations, we'll, we'll have to see. Well, we want to thank you for being with us. James Green, professor of Brazilian history and culture at Brown University, director of the Brown Brazil Initiative. Professor Green is author of a number of books, including We Cannot Remain Silent, Opposition to the Brazilian Military Dictatorship in the United States. 